The Cebu Home and Builder Center Mega Year and Sale is here. Mega deals of up to 70% off on great selections from tile, bath, light system, hardware, and a lot more. Hurry, grab this chance to avail of our mega discount of the year. Visit Cebu Home and Builder Center branches from November 15 to December 15 in Banilad, Mactan, Consolacion, and Bacaso, and Minglanilia. Special thanks to our brand partners, Ala Plana. Argenta, Baldosser, Duragress, El Molino, Fino, Fino Royal, Lux, Mulia, Sasuko, Studio, Tysera, Cool, Malcolux, Kendo, and Cool PPR. For detail, fair trade permit number R7CB441 series of 2020. Good evening. It's Wednesday, December 2, 2020 here in Cebu City. I'm Cherry Ann Lim and this is Sunstar Tonight. The Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines has issued guidelines on the holding of Simbangabi and Misa de Gallo amid the COVID-19 pandemic. Kenneth Torres reports. With the Catholic Filipinos expected to flock the churches to attend this year's Simbangabi and Misa de Gallo, the Catholic Bishops' Conference of the Philippines has issued measures on the holding of masses amid the pandemic. CBCP said wearing of face masks, social distancing, and ban of mass gatherings should be implemented in the churches. It recommends that for Simbangabi, masses in the evening can start as early as 6 p.m., while for the morning, masses can be conducted at 6 a.m. CBCP said parishes can schedule more masses in different venues, which can be large enough to accommodate more people and still observe physical distancing, provided they will coordinate with the local government units. However, Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella earlier said Simbangabi and Misa de Gallo should be only held inside the church. Church officials met with La Bella yesterday to discuss the matters of holding Misa de Gallo. Monsignor Camilo Alia, team moderator of the Cebu Metropolitan Cathedral, said the meeting ended without a final decision yet. Father Japeth Junzon, vice chairman of the Commission on Worship of the Archdiocese, said they will wait on the executive order of La Bella. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight. Six areas in Danao City are now being monitored after the Tangon River overflowed amid heavy rains brought by a low-pressure area spotted near eastern Samar. Chari Coronel reports. Some parts in Cebu were flooded due to heavy rainfall brought about by the low-pressure area spotted near eastern Samar, one of which is Danao City in northern Cebu. The Danao City Disaster Risk Reduction Management Office is monitoring six areas in the city after the Tangon River overflowed today. The overflowing of Tangon River has affected barangays Poblacion, Suba, Tabuk, Ginakot, Taytay, and Ginsay. Roads were closed in some parts of Ilaya in Barangay Poblacion to give way to residents who will evacuate to higher grounds. Meanwhile, some residents of Sitio Riverside, Barangay Cantuod, and Sitio Buswang in Balamban Town were rescued after their areas were also flooded. Chari Coronel, Sunstar Tonight. President Rodrigo Duterte has authorized the Food and Drug Administration to allow emergency use of the COVID-19 vaccine. Kenneth Torres reports. President Rodrigo Duterte has issued an executive order authorizing the Director General of the Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, to allow emergency use of COVID-19 vaccines. Under Executive Order No. 121, the emergency use will be valid only for the duration of the public health emergency due to COVID-19. Duterte declared a state of public health emergency in the entire country at the start of the epidemic in February 2020. Under EO 121, the FDA Director General is given the power to implement reliance and recognition processes for the emergency use of drugs and vaccines, he may accept the regulatory decision of the World Health Organization. 
United States Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, or other international recognized regulatory body. The directive also requires FDA and the Department of Health to conduct post-authorization monitoring to track product deployment, additional relevant information, and the full life cycle of the product, National Task Force Chief Carlito Galvez Jr. earlier said. He expects the first shipments of a COVID-19 vaccine in the latter part of the second quarter of 2020. The government Government and business community have signed a tripartite agreement with British pharmaceutical firm AstraZeneca for the supply of 2.6 million doses of its vaccine candidate against COVID-19. It was the first vaccine deal entered into by the government, although the private sector will pay for the shipment and donate most of it to the government. The government is also in talks with Pfizer, BioNTech, Gamaleya. Russian Direct Investment Fund and Janssen Pharmaceuticals. Galvez said they target to procure up to 60 million doses by 2021. The government targets to immunize 60 million to 75 million Filipinos against COVID-19 to achieve herd community. One person needs two doses of a vaccine. Kenneth Torres, Sunstar Tonight. Looking for local beauty brands that are worth a try? Tiffany Neri has the list. Thank you, Cherry. Welcome to the end of Sunstar tonight. I'm Tiffany Neri, here to bring you a break from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. It's the middle of the work week, and if you're like me, I'm sure you're craving a little self TLC. So tonight, thanks to our writer, Marimel Cabrera, we have a beauty break roundup of local beauty brands worth checking out. Lift those lashes with Siza, which has an all-natural and vegan power lash serum that aids the growth of those luscious lashes. From personal care to makeup, GT Cosmetics offers products ranging from bath and body to beauty, FDA approved and curated for Filipina skin. Have you heard about the miracle in a pouch? That's what they say about Ayana Beauty Basic sets for age defiance, skin lightening, and anti-acne. They're awesome solutions for those of you who prefer quality and safety over flash and fad. If any of these brands have tickled your fancy, you can check them online. In the meantime, follow us and stay tuned for the next Beauty Break Roundup. This is Tiffany Neri reporting to you for Sunstar tonight. Good night. It's 23 days to go before Christmas. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph. Follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Cherry Ann Lim, and this has been Sunstar Tonight. See you again tomorrow. Good night.